Today I will explain the meaning of one of the important fields in the general ledger master data, which is the balances in local currency only field. So I will explain how to use it, and I will follow this with a demo in the SAP s and then I will give you some recommendations on when to use this field. Welcome back to the channel, this is Abdullah Galal, and I publish videos related to SAP and business processes, mainly in the financial area. So if you are interested, don't forget to check my other videos and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the general ledger master data under the control data tab, you can find balances in local currency only. And when you check this field, you tell SAP that I want to ignore any foreign currency differences that happen as a result of clearing this account. So whenever I clear this account, I don't want the system to post foreign currency differences, even if there are some differences. Why? Because this is an intermediary account. I use it only as a system intermediary account. It's not related to the business. I never want to see any foreign currency differences happening due to this account. For example, the most important account to use this field in is the general GRIR account, the goods receipt invoice receipt account. I have already explained how it exactly works in another video, so I will leave you a link in this video to check the GRIR account if you want. But we all know that whenever we post a goods receipt or an invoice receipt, the system will automatically post to the GRIR account. So the GRIR is an intermediary account we use in SAP to keep track of any products we received and any products we invoiced. It's not related to our business. It's not an account that we want to see any foreign currency differences happening due to. And the point with GRIR is whenever we post a goods receipt, it is always posted in the local currency because we keep our stocks in the local currency. But when we post an invoice receipt, the invoice receipt is with the currency of the supplier. And this can be a foreign currency if we do importation. So usually we'll have a debit with local currency and a credit with a foreign currency and you clear both of them together. So if there is a difference in the exchange rate when you do the clearing from when we did the invoice receipt, there will be a foreign currency difference. And we cannot have this in the GRIR account because it is an intermediary system account. The same concept applies to all the intermediary accounts. For example, the bank clearing accounts that we use to track the checks that we didn't clear yet, for example, and many other accounts. Now, let's do a practical example to see how this exactly happens with the system. And then you can judge on your own when to use this field in your own project. So I'm going to create two similar GL accounts. They both have the same details in the master data. And then I'm going to post debit and credit to each account and do the clearing. And we can see how SAP will handle the foreign currency differences. So the first account I'm going to create, let's say 51205. Create. And this one will be a balance sheet account. Account group is general, short text. So this one will be balances in local currency only. This is, I can make it anything, but this is a description of the account. And okay, go to the control data, balances in local currency only, check. And open item management, check. So we can do clearing to this account. And create bank interest. Field status group is G001. You can use any field status group you want. Save. Now I'm going to create the second account. So this one will be exactly the same, but we will not check the balances in local currency. So balance sheet, GL, and this one is no balance in local currency. Control data. So I will leave this one unchecked. And I will check open item management, create bank interest as field status G001. Okay, and save. So now I have two similar GL accounts. One of them has a checkbox, the other doesn't. Now I'm going to go and post two financial entries to see how this works. So financial entries is transaction FB50. So the date is 12-07-2020, GL account, 51205. The other one will be 51206. Debit and credit. So this is the first financial entry. It will be in local currency. 
and I will post one side to each account. Then I will do another entry in foreign currency and I will uh, make them the opposite sides. So after this, we can do the, tree, the clearing. You will see exactly what I mean. So this is the first entry. Let's say 1,000 euros debit and 1,000 euros credit and post. Now the second entry will be in foreign currency. So this will be in the date is 12.07.2020 and this will be in USD, for example. So again, 5.1.2.0.5 and 5.1.2.0.6. This time I will make this one credit and this one debit. And I want to post the same local currency amount in euros as the other entry so we can do clearing later so i will ask i will make sap help me with translating the foreign currency into local currency so go to the line i can insert amount in local currency it once is 1000 euros sap automatically calculated the foreign currency amount based on the current exchange rate so this is 2000 usd let's go back so this is the amount 2000 now in every account, I have two financial entries, one debit and one credit. They both have the same local currency amount. One of them is only a local currency and the other has also a, diff a foreign document currency. Now let's post this entry and I'm going to display the line items of one of the accounts so we can see exactly what we did. So slash OFBL3H. So that the account is 51205 and I will display the open items as of today. So these are the two open items we have in this account. We have one debit and one credit. They both have the same company code currency value or local currency value, but they have different document currencies. Now we exactly have the same thing in the other account, 51206. And now we are going to do the clearing. Before we do the clearing, I'm going to change the exchange rate so we can see how SAP will handle the exchange rate differences. To change the exchange rate, the transaction is FB0, is OB08, sorry. So OB08. And the exchange rate type I'm using is EURX. From currency USD to currency EUR. So this is the current exchange rate we have, two. I'm going to change it to, let's say for example, three. So now we have a different exchange rate, save. Now let's go and do the clearing for the two accounts and see how SAP will handle the two accounts differently. So I'm going to close this screen and to clear the GL account, the transaction is F-03. So let me open two windows so we can see how SAP will handle the two accounts. So in this one, I will put the first account, 51205. And here I'm also going to open the same transaction, F-03, for the other account, 51206. 5, enter, and 51206, enter. Now remember that these two accounts, they have the exact same postings, they have the exact master data, the only difference is the balances in local currency field. Now this one, the one on the left, it has the balances local currency field checked. And the one on the right does not have this field. Now you see the difference. On the one on the left, because we checked balances in local currency only, SAP ignored the foreign currency value. It did not do any foreign currency revaluation or any foreign currency translation and it, it will not post any foreign currency loss or gain. This is why we have 1,000 debit, 1,000 credit, and there is no difference, it's zero, and I can post the clearing document. Document was posted successfully. Now for this account, because we did not check the balances in local currency only, so SAP will handle it normally. So SAP will recalculate the local currency value based on the current exchange rate multiplied by the document currency value that was posted when we did the financial entry. So it will multiply 2,000 USD 
by, by the new exchange rate. So we have a different value. Now it is 666. So we have a credit of 1000, but a debit of 666. So there is a difference of 333, which will be posted to foreign currency gain or loss. So now you see how SCEP handles this field. The only difference between these two cases is this field only. So when we check balances in local currency only field, we tell SAP to ignore any foreign currency differences for this account. So when we, do we use this account? Again, the recommended by SAP is to use it for GRIR account. So this is something mandatory we all do. So GRIR account, you, all, you always have to check the, local, uh, the balances in local currency only. Otherwise, it will cause a lot of issues in the system. The second thing is we use it with intermediary system accounts that should not have any foreign currency differences like bank cleaning accounts because any foreign currency differences should appear in the bank account itself. It will not appear in the cleaning accounts. So we also check it. Of course, now that you understand how, the field, how this field works, you should think about your business process, think about your project and see how you can use it best for your own project. I hope this was clear to everyone. This is one of the fields that always cause a lot of issues and it, because it's not very clear. But hopefully with this example, we can all now understand how SAP handles this field. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please leave me your comments. Leave me any questions you want on YouTube or on LinkedIn. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next video.